Hello again. Uh, something very different today. Two things that are different. One, I don't have a hat on of any kind. And the other thing is that I'm going to do an unboxing of sorts. It's quite nice to get something for nothing from the internet. And the kind people at Sack of Saws have sent me something. Let me try and show you what it is. It could be useful for you in the garden or it could be useful for you if you're a car camper, for example. Let's turn around and have a look at this. Here it is. It's a Sacker Mini Electric Chainsaw. I've always been a wee bit frightened of the idea of chainsaws. I think I associate it with massacres. Um, I'm sure it's a useful thing in the garden. I've actually unboxed it already and then I did something with my card. I lost everything. Let's see, what would you get in the box for this thing? Let's talk about the weight of it to begin with. There it is, you can get an idea of the size of it. There it is against my tripod. It's not huge. With the battery, which is there, it comes to 1.1 kilograms in weight. Easily, you know, wielded by one hand. So I'm going to use it in situations where these are maybe not quite up to the job. For example, uh, if I was trying to take away this bit of rose, briar rose, it was huge and I've cut it back already. I'll let you see again how the sack of saw can handle it. So let's have a look at how this thing will deal with it. Um, what else can I tell you about it first? It has got a guard. So this guard here will move as you chop through things it can take things up to four inches ten centimeters so i think that's probably yeah that's well within its capabilities so i'll do that one what else do we get we get with it the battery partially charged so we'll plug that in and i'll show you it going also a little instruction book of course, make sure you read it, a screwdriver for tightening things up or assembling it, mine was already assembled, you got your charger and a little bottle of what looks like lubricating oil, there you are, there you are, there you are. More Again, that's a socket wrench. Tighten things up, or I suppose change the, change the blade if you need a new blade. You can buy this lot either as it is, this is about the simplest version of it, but you can also buy it with I think, a spare battery and a spare chain at the same time. It's a bit more expensive, but let's have a go at it. Let's see what we can cut. It could be useful, will be useful in the garden if you're doing this kind of thing. Um, you might find it useful if you're a car camper, if you have a motorhome, you have an RV, and you go into the countryside and you're cutting up old wood, dead wood. Now, if you're a camper, at 1.1 kilograms, it's a bit too too heavy to carry. You could, I suppose, if you intended, you know, making your way <laughs> to uncharted territory. Um, it's unlikely, but if you were, you could probably carry it. It's only the weight of a litre of water up and a bit. But um, I wouldn't generally. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, first, let's just put the battery in. Do, 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 do. Probably. Like that. Yeah, still not exactly long, is it? And then we have to push in a button on the side here, as well as a trigger, and it goes. Otherwise, it won't. So we have to push that in first. Maybe, maybe. One or 
one or two of these things we can take as well. Get a If you're a camper with a van, you probably find room for this and you find it useful for this kind of thing. If you're a gardener like me and you also have bushes to cut, as you saw, this will give you a good job. There you go, so thanks again to the people at Saka for sending me this to review. I'll leave the link somewhere in the description or on here. Thanks also to my friend Bruce of Winding Our Way channel which I'll leave a link to there for bringing this gadget to my attention. It's rather nice. Don't forget to subscribe.